Renowned for their stellar microphones, Australian manufacturer Rode ventures into headphones, bridging the gap between mic technology and headphones innovation. In today's video we take a close look at the Rode NTH100 studio headphones. We delve deep into their unique design, applications and competitive edge. The Rode NTH100 arrives in an elegant cardboard box and includes a detachable straight cable measuring 2.4 meters. The cable boasts a 3.5 mm jack plug with a bayonet locking mechanism and a conventional 3.5 mm TRS jack. For use with larger sockets, a 6.35 mm jack adapter with a screw thread is thoughtfully included. Furthermore, you get a carrying bag and a set of identification rings in blue, green, orange and pink for personalization. A small rubber plug is also provided to close any unused input socket. Crafted in Sydney, Australia, the NTH100 showcases a sturdy and resilient build. The outer sides of the ear shells are coated to guard against scratches and a spring steel bracket in the headband enhances durability and stability. Visually the headphones strike a balance between classic construction and modern design elements, such as cello glossy black lettering on a matte black background. Surprisingly the NTH100 allows connecting its single cable on either the left or right side. The velvety surfaces of the interchangeable head cushion and ear cushions are made from breathable synthetic Alcantara. These surfaces are lined with heat repellent gel pads, ensuring a cool head during extended sessions. Memory phone ensures an optimal fit, delivering not only comfort but also a relatively effective sound insulation. The NTH100 boasts 40mm drivers, dynamically powered by robust neodymium magnets, featuring a 3-layer mylar membrane with a covered face plug. With a frequency range from a low 5Hz to a high 35kHz, these exceed the typical human hearing range. Thanks to the low impedance of 32 ohms, the NTH100 should be easy to drive and compatible with less powerful devices like smartphones, tablets and laptops. The interchangeable cable securely attaches to the 3.5mm jack socket using a bayonet lock, offering flexibility for both left and right connections. A rubber plug is included to protect the unused socket from dust. Identification rings in blue, green, orange and pink can be added to the cable plugs, complementing the pre-assembled black rings. Additional cables are available in 2.4 and 1.2m lengths, offering color-coded options for Rode fans aligning with the Rodecaster Pro podcast mixer and Rode Connect software. The right and left ear shells feature large inner prints and colored king cards on the cable routing. The spring steel headband size adjustment is infinitely variable, ensuring an optimal fit and can be secured using the fitlock locking system. While the circumeral ear cups might be a snug fit for larger ears, their adaptability to head shape and the soft Alcantara cover on the head and ear cushions make them comfortable for extended use. Weighing in at a moderate 344 grams, the Rode NTH100 strikes a balance between secure fit and comfort for prolonged use. Close-back headphones historical challenges include spongy bass, erratic mids and sometimes shrill or muffled highs. Luckily advancements in the past decades have addressed these issues and Rode has kept pace with these developments. The NTH100 stands out with its clear and mostly resonance free midrange. Voices and instruments are faithfully reproduced without noticeable coloration. The stereo image, while not excessively wide, is precise and the manufacturer's claim of selecting drivers in pairs is evident in the listening experience. The NTH100 sound can be described as warm, favoring the lower frequencies, while maintaining a more reserved treble representation. While the warm sound signature of the NTH100 creates a pleasant audio experience, it may present challenges during detailed mixing as certain nuances could remain less prominent or concealed. Vocal performance is noteworthy, providing a full sound even with louder vocals where other headphones may falter. The sound isolation is moderate, which allows for a connected yet undisturbed working environment. The 
The Rode NTH100 and the Sony MDR7506 share similarities with 40mm dynamic drivers featuring neodymium magnets. The Sony has a frequency response of 10Hz to 20kHz and an impedance of 60 ohms with a sensitivity rating of 106 dB. It's recognized as a favorite in reasonably priced closeback headphones, known for its lightweight design and comfortable fit without head pressure. Externally the Sony MDR7506 is perceived as budget friendly due to its prevalent plastic components, distinctive ball design and thin, easily torn ear pad material resembling plastic film. The headband is made of thin leatherette with minimal padding and the cable is non-removable contrasting with the Rode's more robust design. Despite its external fragility, the Sony MDR7506 is recognized for its reliability, serving many professionals over the years. In terms of studio monitoring, both headphones have similar specifications, but with a slight difference in seam construction. The Rode excels in stage construction and placement, particularly noticeable in vocals. The Sony captures the scene well, focusing more on individual instruments. The Rode NTH100 effectively conveys the overall skill, distributing the listener's attention equally across all components of the track. Ultimately both these headphones have their strengths, with the Sony MDR7506 excelling in detail retrieval, while the Rode NTH100 stands out in stage construction and a balanced representation of the entire audio landscape. The Rode NTH100 impresses with its warm sound signature, impressive comfort and thoughtful design elements. The 40mm dynamic drivers, driven by neodymium magnets, deliver a clear and largely resonance-free mid-range, making it well suited for monitoring vocals. The interchangeable cable system, along with the inclusion of identification rings and a rubber plug, adds a layer of customization and practicality to the NTH100. In comparison with the Sony MDR7506, the Rode NTH100 excels in stage construction and instrument placement, while the Sony offers better detail retrieval. In the end, the NTH100's unique sonic character and comfortable design establish it as a valuable addition, appealing to both hi-fi enthusiasts and studio professionals alike. And that's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you in the next video, bye!